First at 6 o'clock, the city of Tulsa settles a lawsuit for $110,000 with a woman who was injured in a car crash that happened during a police traffic stop. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. The city had asked to be dropped from the lawsuit, but a judge disagreed. News on 6's Emery Bryan is live with the story. Emery? Well, the case goes back to a car crash that happened in 2016. The lawsuit was within days of going to trial when the city agreed to settle. Sheree McMinn was in a wheelchair months after the crash that triggered several lawsuits and a couple of settlements in her favor. In November 2016, she was severely injured in a crash on Skelly Drive. She had been stopped by police when a drunk driver hit the police car. This was the view from the patrol car, which hit her, pinching her between the two bumpers. The truck that hit the car kept going, but was quickly stopped by other officers. While the driver was arrested, McMinn didn't know if she would live or die. I didn't know if I had minutes or seconds left of my life. The wreck turned into a long legal battle over her injuries with the court case delayed by the pandemic. With a trial set for court October 31st, the city agreed to settle, and this is how it was explained to the city council. The damages in this case are, I mean, there's no dispute that she was severely injured. Um, the question came down to whether or not it was the city's liability or what percentage might be the city's liability. The man who caused the accident, Johnny Hunter, was arrested and served two years in prison. The owner of the work truck he was driving settled with McMinn for one million dollars and so we were about to go to trial and so um, we looked at things like you know the, the, the plaintiff obviously was severely injured and um, the potential for trials and juries the settlement comes six years after the crash that McMinn says she's sure she wouldn't have survived without her faith and the city of Tulsa says the settlement check would be written this week. Reporting live downtown, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on 6.